In this video, we will have a look at the list.fold function. And to see what it does, let me just paste the following to begin with. So we invoke the fold function using the fold keyword, and then we provide one function that we denote f in this example. We give it some initial value in it, and then we give it a list of values that I'm just going to have one, two, three for this example. What this expression transforms into is the following. So it calls the function f on the initial value and the value one. So we can see that the function f should be a function of two parameters. So it calls it on initial and on one first. Once it done, does that, this evaluates to a new value. And then we call f again on this value that we got last time and the second value of the array or of the list. And then once that evaluates to a value, we call the function f on this entire thing that is now a value and the value three. So it starts, you know, it takes this function f applies it to the first two elements here. Then once this evaluates to a certain value, it plugs that into F again, together with the second value of this list. And lastly, it takes that value and plugs it into the function F again with the last value of the list. So to see you or to show you how this uh, evaluates, let's actually call list.fold. So list.fold. And what we would call that on is a function F. So let's say, let f of a b be equal to a plus b. That would be a very simple application of a function. So we would simply sum the elements and we would apply then list.fold to the function f to an initial value that we can say is one or rather I can just put one here and then we would put some list. Let's do the same as we did in the above example. Um, so one, two, three, like that. If I execute this thing, what we're going to see is the following. So we can see down here that the value comes out to be seven in that case. And the reason why we get that is we apply one plus one, which is two. And then we apply this value, which is now two plus two, which is four. And then we take this value, which is now four and apply it or sum it with three, which comes out to be seven. If I do another function, so let F two, Let's see, let F2, and instead of summing, we can turn this into a multiplication and then use F2 in our final expression here. Let's execute this and see what we get. So you can see that this comes out to be seven uh, or six, sorry. And the reason why is we multiply one times one that evaluates to one. Then we take this one that we evaluated, multiply it by two that evaluates to two. Then we take this two that we evaluated and we multiply it by three and that turns out to be six. So that's why we get the final value. So that's how the list.fold function works.